Okay, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the linear regression equation and the correlation coefficient using your TI-84 graphing calculator. So what we have here is we are going to use X is our uh, monthly sales in thousands and our cost of online ads in um, thousands also. So that's saying that if we had monthly sales of 368,000, then that means that we spent 1.7 thousand on online ads. So in this case, we would be using the monthly sales to predict how much we spent on the ads. You could set this up the other way too. You could switch these around to make this the cost of online ads as X and the monthly sales as Y. But for this one, I'm just gonna leave it the way that I have it. So what we're going to do is we're coming up with the Y equals MX plus B equation. And we are going to use our calculator to do that. So what we are going to do, and I already have this data written down on another sheet of paper. So once I show you how to um, get to where you enter the data in, if you need to pause it and come back and look at this, you can. Uh, so what we're gonna do is grab the calculator and to enter the data, we're gonna go to stat and option one. I don't have any information in there, but let's say that I had some information in there and we wanted to clear the whole list. You wanna highlight on L1 and just hit the clear and it goes away. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna just type in the data that I had. So remember, all I'm doing is I have written down on a piece of paper this data sheet. So if you want to pause it, put this in L1. So we're gonna put uh, monthly sales in L1 and we're gonna put the cost of online ads in L2. You do want to make sure at the end that everything matches up correctly. So you can follow along with me or you can pause the video and look at the data. All right, so I put in my X coordinates 368, 345, 650, 837, 331, 556, and 376. Always check to make sure you didn't mistype something. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my Y values. So with this, you do want to make sure that your X and your Y values do line up. So all of your ordered pairs need to go together. So the 376 and the 1.3 need to go together. Before you come up with the regression equation, it's always a good idea to check your scatter plot to make sure that a line is appropriate because if there is a curve in your scatter plot, you should not use a line. So let's check our scatter plot. What we're going to do is first just take a glance at your Y screen, just hit the Y equals and make sure there's nothing typed in here. If you have anything, any equations typed in here, it could um, distort your graph. So I would just make sure you don't have anything in here. And we can see that plot one, plot two, and plot three are all turned off um, because of the fact that they're not highlighted. If they were turned on, they would be highlighted in black. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. So I'm going to go to second y equals above it. It says stat plot and notice they all say off. So I'm going to turn them on for the first one. So I just hit enter on plot one and I'm going to hit enter on on. And then I'm going to go down. This is the scatter plot and you have to remember where you put your X list and where you put your Y list. So I used X list was L1, Y list was L2. I'm going to go back to the Y equals screen so you can now see that plot one is turned on. So later, if you're graphing something else and it doesn't work, it could be because your plots are turned on. So if you ever have these highlighted and you don't want them to be turned on, then you want to turn them off. So to turn them off, you could just go up and hit enter and it will turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on because that's what we're trying to do is graph it. Okay. Um, so the quickest way to graph something, like if I just hit graph, it's not going to show up. So what I want to do is hit zoom and option nine. So I'm gonna hit zoom and the number nine, which is zoom stat, and it will automatically adjust the window to fit our data. So if we look at this, we can look at this and see that it does have a nice linear trend to it. And so we would be okay with fitting a line to this data set. So now what we wanna do is come up with the line of best fit. So after we looked and checked to make sure that our scatter plot fit it, we would go to stat, and we're going to go over to calculate. So I hit the stat button and calculate. And on here, there's two choices for linear regression. If you're in an algebra class, you're gonna choose option four. If you're in majority of statistics classes, you're gonna choose option eight. So it really just is a matter of whatever class you're in. Um, because I'm doing this for my algebra classes, I'm gonna choose option four. Okay, 
Um, it asks for L1, your X list, your Y list. Some of you may not get this screen. If you have an older TI-84, you won't get this screen. So I'll show you what it should look like. Um, but you want your X list to be your L1, your Y list to be L2. And I'm gonna go ahead and store the regression equation. What this does is it'll put your line of best fit actually into your graph so you can see it and you can use it for predictions if you want to. Okay, so the store regression equation, to do that I'm gonna hit the VARS button that stands for variables. And I'm gonna go over to where the Y VARS are. I wanna place it into my Y equals screen. So I'm gonna to go to Y VARS and just choose option one, so just hit enter, and I'm just gonna hit enter again. Okay, even if you don't have this screen, you can still store the regression equation and I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. And I'm gonna hit calculate. Okay, when I do this, this gives me my line of best fit. So I could actually go down and write my line of best fit is Y equals, and the number I'm writing now came from my A term. So I'm just going to round it to 0.0055X minus 0.618 eight eight just to stay consistent so this is my regression equation okay so if I go back to my calculator all I did was I rounded to four places for a and I rounded to four places for B so I just plugged it into the equation and wrote it down okay I did mention to you that we were gonna find the correlation coefficient right now I can't find my correlation coefficient because my diagnostics are turned off the Texas Instruments calculator automatically turn, the, the default is to have it turned off when you start it. Um, so you have to turn that on. So what I'm gonna do is if you have a newer calculator, a newer TI-84, you're just gonna hit the mode button and you're gonna just arrow down until you find stat diagnostics. If you have a TI-83 or an older 84, this won't be there. So what you would have to do, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So I'm gonna just turn it on and then I'm gonna quit out of here. Okay, this next part was if your stat diagnostics was not on there, this is what you would have to do to turn on your diagnostics. This is the old way. So if you already turned them on, just ignore this. Um, but if you weren't able to turn it on on there, you would hit second and the zero above it says catalog. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the Ds. Right now it has my alpha turned on, so I'm gonna hit this green D right here. And I'm just gonna scroll down until I find diagnostics on. Before that option in the mode, this is how you had to turn it on. So I would go down until I find diagnostics on and then I hit enter and it's done. So like I said, if you already turned it on in your mode, you don't have to do this. Okay, I'm gonna hit second and enter. It is gonna give me the diagnostic on because I just did that. So I'm gonna hit second, enter again until we see the Linreg AX plus B. If you have an older 83 or an 84 that didn't have the menu, this is what you would type in. You would just do L1, which is second and the number one, a comma, second and the number two, comma, and then the Y1 is where we did the VARs, where we did the VARs, the Y VARs, and then function and Y1. So now if I hit enter, notice my R squared and my R shows up. R squared is the variability, so this tells us um, how much of the variability is described by this data set, which that's really good. And R is 0.9715 approximately. Um, so I would just put R is approximately 0.9715, okay? All right, so we wrote down that R is 0.9715. And something else, the reason that I had you store the regression equation just to show you why I did the um, Y1 is because your calculator will put this into your Y1 screen. It'll store the entire equation. So if I look at the graph, now it'll put the line of best fit so you can see where the line of best fit goes. You can also use it to make predictions. And to do that, what you could do is like, if we wanted to predict for, if we had maybe 400,000 in sales, what I can do is I can go to second and window and it pulls up the table set and I'm gonna change the independent to ask. So I'm just gonna change the independent to ask. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit second and graph and it'll bring up the table and then I can make a prediction for 400 and I can see that I would expect to spend about 1,570 or 
$580 approximately on ads to make 400,000 in sales. Okay, so I could also plug in another value. So if you wanted to make predictions, this is a good place to do it. Um, I'm just making up numbers right now. I didn't have any prediction values, but I just wanted to show you that that is an option. So with this, just to recap, it is easiest to come up with the line of best fit using some kind of graphing technology like the TI-84 or TI-Inspire or Desmos. Um, the R is how linear something is. So if this is close to zero, that means it's not very linear. If it's close to positive one or negative one, that means it's very linear. linear. If it's positive, that means that the slope is also positive. If, it's ne if R is negative, then the slope is also negative. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.